Hey everyone, Chris here back with another ROM review. It's been almost about a week since I posted my last one, but uh, here is finally the one I've been using for the past week, and that being AICP. So this I, this ROM I've really, really enjoyed. Um, that's why I've, it's been so long since I've put out a, a, a ROM review. Um, this one has just been fantastic, actually. I'm running 7.1.2, which is great. April uh, security patch. At the time, this version that I'm running is actually their pre-official. They've now updated to the official version, so OTAs will work um, correctly. Um, but this is the pre-official version, and even still, it ran uh, really smooth, really fast. Um, performance has just been really, really great, as well as battery life. This ROM has tons and tons of customization. If that's something you're looking for, this is going to be one you're going to want to check out for sure. Um, stable and a lot of customization. So heads up, you got tons of status bar options, um, battery bar, things like that notifications you have custom image header which would be up in kind of like this area up here when you pull it down you have the option to like kill apps tons of uh, quick setting toggle options that you can choose from that come built in so you don't need a third-party app or anything like that quick settings again tons of customizations even for those settings you can change um, how many rows there are here the only thing i wish is if you select a lower number of quick tiles right here that it would shift them more to the center and that's the only kind of complaint that i have in that regard um, lock screen i've had some issues as well um, when i hit the am pm and also it basically got rid of my um, lock screen shortcuts. So usually like the phone and the camera, they're not there and displaying anymore. Um, recents menu, you have the option to do a, a basic stock Android recents. You also have Omni switch option. Um, I actually have um, Omni and slim recents um, frozen and titanium backup so i can't really show you those but omni switch and slim recents um, come pre um, on here basically so you have those options if you like those um, you have animation customization you have option to blur some ui extensions um, a lot of different various uh, options here so tons of customization and they have its own dedicated app so you don't have to necessarily access it from the settings you can actually access it from right here in the app drawer there's that you have navigation bar which you can enable or you can use the zui if you so choose dynamic nav bar color so this will actually change the nav bar color according to whatever app that you're in for example um, let's say we go into twitter it should, in theory, change the color of that. Yep, there it goes. So now the nav bar it blends in nicely to the color of the app. So that's really, really cool. I'm going to actually leave that enabled. You have Magisk, um, root manager, root pre-installed. This does support substratum if you want to have that. Um, any themes that you may want. Status bar, you do have even additional... Uh, settings here in this little menu as well so you have a quick pull down if you want that which most aosp or lineage based roms have that option display you have the live display option night light i'm not sure what really the difference is between these two um, they kind of seem like they do the same thing so um yeah, night light turns on helps tense the screen amber but yet live display you can do that for night you can set the specific hue for night and day so accidental wake ups your standard uh, settings there for your display battery life um, you have of course efficiency balance things like that battery life has been fantastic for me um, 
and it also sleeps very, very well. It goes into deep sleep, and it stays like that during the night. Um, I've been easily able to get five and a half hours of screen on time. So to show you, this was my day yesterday. Um, so basically, I started it basically 100% during the middle of the night. I unplugged it, drained. You can see there a day in eight hours since I last charged it. Um, and we're still at 26%. And if we go over, here is my five hour screen on time, um, which this was mostly internet usage, texting, uh, Facebook, which actually for Facebook, I use Swipe Pro. Um, a lot of Gmail, Twitter, just things like that. Everything loads very quickly. Going to recents, things like that is very fast also. So basically here is the website which you can download the official um, download.aicp-rom.com. I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, I also recommend you checking out their XDA or Zook fans um, thread. So that way if you have any questions or issues, you can um, post up there with any problems that you have. Um, so yeah, this, um, this ROM has been fantastic. Camera quality, I would say, is probably um, one of the better ROMs as far as camera quality goes. So here we have the ZUI options right here. It's a little weird um, just how stuff is labeled and stuff like that. So maybe the official build that they've since released kind of fixes some of this. So battery quality is great. Camera quality is great. Performance quality is fantastic. I can't quite complain. I would definitely recommend this as one of the top um, daily driver ROMs to use if you're looking for one. Um, again, if you guys have questions, as always, leave those comments down below. Like the video if you thought this was helpful and informative. Also, subscribe. That way you're notified and informed of future content. And that way you can also maybe share my channel to others. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And I will see you all here in the near future. See ya.